just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? So well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Huge block there. Let's go, it's a warning. Nice kick. Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Punches, 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 punches. Let's go. Oh, huge block. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He can't even be on his feet right now. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he has to take down his hip lane. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just misses there with the left. Round two next. Oh, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, second round underway. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, that's a nice strike. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! Just out of range with that left hook. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top of oh, it, oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He was high, but now he's got to hurt bad. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Straight right, he misses. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Lee. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
All right, five minutes to decide this one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. That was lightning fast, that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, my goodness. An uppercut there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Beautiful punch. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got a play. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Fantastic takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity back to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Now, we're up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got a first very bad big head kick. Nice kick. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. The judges go to the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, oh!